Welcome back. We're going to try the One Don PO Challenge, which is one of three different rule sets. Rule set number one, you pick, uh, let me scroll down, pick the bot in question, the rating 1050. So this is level 20, rating 1050. This is a One Don opponent in an even game with random piece colors, and you defeat that at straight up 10 minute game. So this is option one for the One Don PO challenge. Option two is select the most difficult One Don opponent, uh, which I believe is this one, level 22. It's the same rule set, but you can choose to do one undo at some point during the game. Okay. Option three, uh, thanks Transport for recommending this, is that we pick the middle one Don opponent, this cute little reddish bird, level 21, and we can play not straight 10 minute game, but rather uh, each move you have 30 seconds to make the move. Now, understandably, level 21 is more difficult than level 20, but I'm going to crush it. So, yeah, to the victor go the spoils, etc., etc. Um, Let's just double check. I've messed up my overlay. Let me quickly fix that and we will get started. There we go. So we're not streaming from 81 Dojo. We are on Studio K's site. So I'd like to see the little banner at the top there. Um, there we go. Um, yeah, one dime plus. We're going to crush it. It'll be fun. Uh, good luck. Random peace toss. Oh, I go first for the fourth time in a row. Or at least it feels that way. Um, so we got 30 seconds for every move. And that doesn't add up on our clock in any useful way. But we can see... Oh, and there you can even see the time counting down. Here's how much time we have until uh, our move time expires. And so that's uh, called Bioyomi. Uh, literally countdown. Um, so... Yeah, last time that I did well, I was playing Central Fall Rook. So we're going to play Central Fall Rook and hope that level 21 and level 20, while different, um, aren't different enough for this guy to beat me. Um, so, also, even if I don't win this, uh, I don't know, sparring with this bot's kind of fun. So, I've messed up in this opening before. Blocking the bishop is not so bad. Blocking the rook sucks. So, yeah, the silver here fights well against the silver and prevents striking the bishop head. It's a more solid shape. Um, so, I'm going to continue just building a castle and not getting screwed on this. Okay, let's build half Mino if we have time for it. Oh shit, I forgot. It can attack my pawn directly. Oh, that's disappointing. Alright, well. That pawn is dead. There's nothing I can do. Interesting. Alright, screw this. Let's just activate the rook and hope things will be fine. <laughs> Interesting move choice by the bot. Did not expect that. Um, hmm. That is interesting. And by that, I mean really it's not. But okay. I should have pushed my edge pawn earlier. That would have helped me withstand the coming attack which I'm about to succumb to, although I could move my rook out of the way and die a less horrible death. Uh, okay, let's drop back the rook. Okay, that's a really patient move. Interesting. I don't understand it. Let's just pretend... No... 
There is stuff going on on this board. Hmm. Yeah, let's defend the king. Why not? Okay, but that's a silly move. That doesn't directly achieve any... Oh. Okay, it's preparing to drop a silver in front of my bishop and rook. That's sad. I feel like I, it's as if I'm playing Urashino. I'm just getting dunked on here uh, by a level 21 bot. So we came in with a lot of confidence and are learning something about modesty. Well, I say learning, but that would imply that I'm going to do something different next time. Um, yeah, let's bring the knight out. Why not? Oh, we made the bot think for a second. That's an achievement. Um... So, this position sucks. Um, yeah, all right. Yeah, that's why this position sucks. Is I've been trying to figure out, do I take this knight for a silver? And the answer, I think, is pretty clearly no, because then my bishop continues to be under attack. There's no advantage to such a move. Instead, we're faced with this. Um, hmm. I've been trying to find a way to activate my bishop admits this issue. Doesn't look easy. All right, we're going to take the silver. They activate their silver instead of their bishop. Hmm. Well, this is fairly crazy, but why not? I guess that's why not, but I can still fork that. This is unorthodox for sure, but not terrible. Hmm. I missed that. Or I just didn't want to believe it was a thing. And just my state of denial, whatever. Let's activate our gold. Okay, now our bishop's attacked, so let's activate it. And our rook's attacked, so let's activate it too. Um, if the silver gives chase, we'll just bring it up one more. Okay, I missed this. No amount of sitting there thinking about my moves is going to help me find that. I just flat out missed it. Okay. Hmm. It has a pawn in hand, but that pawn can't chase my rook. Mm -hmm. Do I take this gold for my bishop and then chase their rook around a bit. I think so. What good's a bishop going to do me? Okay. Chasing is not so smart here. I just should regard their rook as dead. Um, let's chase the king instead. OK. 
Okay, so my rook is hanging, but I can start breaking their castle apart. That seems kind of fun. Who needs a rook? Uh, you know, let's promote it. Alright, so they've backed off a bit. Suppose I too can back off a bit. Or I could sack for this. That might be a bit much. Um, but no, their rook's trapped. What do I care? My king's a bit vulnerable. That's why I should care. And let's attack this way. Hmm. Strange. Um. Hmm. I guess we're gonna take that. And well, if we chase it, that only gets to a more useful square. Um. If only s oh, I took what I took there was a knight. That's what confused me. Okay. Hmm. Let's go there without promoting. And how am I going to defend against that? By just asserting that... Oh, wait, their bishop can't take my lance. I forgot about that. So I'm actually in a different spot than I thought I was in. Well, let's promote, why not? Okay, so with two rooks, can I figure out how to attack? That's the question of the day. One hopes that the answer is yes. So after I play my rook here, what am I going to do next? I don't know. Oh, hang on. There's something else in this position. Ah, there's not something else in this position. I've been tricked. <sighs> That's disappointing. I could sack for it, but why? Oh, we're going to go this way. My rook's floating. It's not great. I'm a bit agitated that I missed stuff. Um, well, we've got a knight. We might as well use it, right? Everything is hanging. All right. Um, yeah, let's continue attacking. I have blocked all of my pieces in my infinite wisdom. Okay. Well, I'm smart. Um, sure, why not? There goes my rook. Sure, one more attacking piece for the fire. Why not? I'm in check. Uh, is the rook going to kill me here? Maybe. Maybe not. Who knows? Alright, let's block that. Alright, we're in check again. They don't yet have a gold general, but they very easily can obtain one. So I have to run. 
and I have to run again. And I'm in check. And I'm in check. And I'm in checkmate. All right, next for game. Nicely played. Ah, uh, this bot played a book opening against me. How's that so? Dead. I mean, I faced this on Shogi Wars. This much. All of this I've seen on Shogi Wars. Yeah, the super rapid attack. Yeah, Muranaka did mention this. Uh, I don't know what to do about it. I should look it up. The night jump is thematic. Oh. This one. Yeah. This one here. Or maybe you're saying on uh, the other side. But no, I think it's this one. Yeah, I've seen this before. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, the spot played a book opening. It's a good opponent. A tricky opening. Well, that shows me for playing Central File Rook, right? I've got to study it. I can't just play it. It's not like I'm playing a human. Um, against human opponents, at least on some servers, I could get away with my play. But here, yeah, not so much. So, how did this go wrong? Um... I played this knight's uh, exchange. Wait, why did I offer my knight exchange? Just because I found it uncomfortable, I guess. Uh, and didn't like the rest of the position. So those were the considerations. But yeah, this is not so bright. This sack is, I guess it prevents my bishop from moving. Uh, which is clever. It's really clever. I dropped the rook back to avoid some nasty tactics. At least in my reading of the position, that's what it looked like. Um, I guess here the best thing I could do is just chase down the knight's head. Yeah, feel free to copy this and analyze it. Might as well. So one of these buttons below the grid is going to be a copy button. Uh, the first one was, like, to rematch, or create a match. Um, uh, yeah, I'm not sure. It'd be cool, though. Uh, copy this and analyze and figure out what happened. If I push the wrong one, the website's gonna explode. Uh... Or actually, I could like use developer tools to try to figure this out. So, oh, the last one says Kifu link is the ID of the button. So let's try that button. All right, uh, garbage in SFEN format. Sure, let's select all and copy that. And just take a quick look at it, because why not, right? So... Since we're already here, uh, let me do one other thing since we're here. Uh, oh, never mind. I'm missing uh, my badge in this overlay. Wait, my garbage isn't copying or pasting into here. Control V is not taking my garbage. I guess that's the S fun. Where's the Kifu? Uh, yeah, I don't know. This is what the garbage looks. Oh, this is the current garbage. Um, 
Um, apparently there's a P.O. Shogi app. So I hit the wrong button, apparently. It's the third button from the left. Ah, this one. Okay. Yeah, Kifu format. Garbage is embedded in this URL. Noted. All right. Um, let's paste the garbage into Shogi GUI. Oh, right here button is copy. Oh, that's cool. Nice. So yeah, then we can drop this into Shogi GUI, which I think Little Magician gave me some assistance getting Hidechi pieces into here. Oh, I think you also, uh, Transport at some point, were helping me figure this out. Uh, oh, left is return. So if we are to return and uh, we could play another game with the leftmost button down there. So, yeah, we can see at the very end, I am dead, 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 dead. Not quite so dead. And probably there's just a steady decline, if I had to guess. Yeah. Even keeping, well, yeah, never mind. There was one moment where I was slightly better. Yep, good old ski slope. That's how this bot is uh, level 20 and level 21 have done against me. It's just the ski slope where I cannot get any advantage and then just boom, I'm dead. That's all. That's all there is. I might try ver variation one of this challenge next, so yeah. All right. So this was my one moment to shine. If I had just, I couldn't find a move here. But yeah, this pawn drop to try to break open the castle would have been a reasonable approach. I sat there for like, yeah, a significant amount of time. I'd not been budgeting my time well for previous turns, but I just got impatient. And I made something to the remark, uh, or a remark to the effect that, like, no matter how long I sit there, I'm not going to find this kind of stuff. I don't think I was going to find this, to be honest. So, like, this silver drop. And then, well, the rook can go back, but the rook could also go forward. But also, they, they defend the rook, or maybe they, like, start attacking this way instead of defending, or they hit my bishop somehow. Like, I don't know. There's things going on. My rook is floating. They don't have to defend their rook. I'm not going to solve this in a blitz game. So, yeah, the fact that an engine figures out, oh, this is the best line, and there I'm slightly better, that might be kind of hard. Yeah. I mean, I'm not going to use takebacks, but maybe a level 22 bot might be the easiest. Who knows, right? All right, let's let's try another one this time against uh, just straight ten minute against uh, the slowest. Not that one. How about this one? The angry red bot. But uh, we're gonna do straight ten minute. Random piece shake to find out who wins. Good luck. Or rather, figure out who goes first. Uh. Wait, here I can actually play some, uh, is this Gokigan Central Rook or something? Oh shit, I don't remember this. <laughs> no! Uh, move the Rook here? Alright. Okay. Uh, something, something, here we go! Yeah, finally Gota. That was the secret, is we just had to get Gota to win this. Because, you know, going second is somehow superior. Um, Alright, I don't have any idea what's going on here. Let's, wait, that's my Rook. Let's castle the king, not the Rook. All right, all right, sure. 
Um, that's fine. Whatever. Let's plug the center, because why not? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I'm confused. I'm so confused. All right, well, we've avoided a bishop trade, so let's... What the heck? Really? Are you sure? That doesn't seem right. Okay. Are you sure you're sure? What have I missed? Okay, I take your knight. Maybe this is some book line I've never heard of. I don't know. It's got me curious, but that can't be right. Yeah, let's just build a castle. Aha, the bot appears to be out of book. It's one of those evil bots that uses a book, and we've shown it the error of its ways. You can't just memorize all the openings. <sighs> or at least it just takes a lot of effort to memorize everything. Um, yeah, so we sure showed that bot, eh? Now we're going to lose on time. That's the plan. All right, let's secure the king. Uh, then what? I don't know, man. I've got a knight. What do I even do with a knight? I fork things, but okay. I can't bring up the silver because then my position goes kaput. Um, I could use the knight to chase the castle, but then I just lose the knight back. I could push on the edge, but what's the point? Um... Hmm. Well, okay, there's something stupid I could do here. It looks fun. Let's try it. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I wasn't joking when I called this stupid. Oh, I didn't even see that pawn drop. That's kind of cute. There we go. You can have the knight back. I was just kidding about taking the knight. Alright, so... Then we just bring the rook over. Like... Bam! Opposing rook. And... I don't know. I mean, this looks good, right? Am I crazy? At least if I'm crazy, it's not because of this. Just, like, there. Opposing Rook. Okay. So it's identified a fork. If I leave my bishop here, it can do a knight forking my Rook and Bishop. Stupid, stupid bot. You annoy me so. Um... Okay, so I could drop a pawn to prevent the fork, and then they take this pawn, and I take this pawn, and I just continue pushing on the file. It's a plan. Wait, uh... I'm just annoyed. Um, I could drop the bishop back to avoid a fork. In effect, running from a fork. They tell you don't run from a fork, and here it's not a good idea either. But like, what the heck? I could push the edge pawn several times, and then sack a lance and break through, and one of my pawns is going to promote, because this monster of a bot can't prevent everything. But it could put a 
a knight in front of well but then if it does that i can just take the pawn it takes my silver and we go back to the original plan and it finds some other way to fork me whatever um okay it asks my bishop to please move i say yes I don't see a downside to that. At least not right now. I move the bishop. It takes my pawn. It has no knight in hand. I push my pawn. It gives me a free pawn. I take the free pawn. It gives me a lance. I take the lance. I think there's something to this strategy that doesn't seem quite right. Okay, it offers a bishop exchange. Which, I, it's kind of hard for me to refuse this. But in principle, I should refuse it. Um... All right, so I refuse it. I chase the rook. I continue my rook pursuit. And then I do something productive. Um, let's pick up a knight. And, yeah, like I said, our plan's to lose on time, right? Gotta stay true to the plan. Alright, so... Um... Okay, let's pursue this. It offers another exchange. Say no thanks. Alright, I'll just keep chasing the king and the rook and the everything. Um, hang on. Let's, I don't know, put down another lance or something. Sure, why not? Shouldn't have done that. Should not have done that. It's not going to be fatal, but I should have pushed the pawn that was on the same rank. Whatever. Um, okay. Uh, let's offer an exchange of a bishop for a pawn. Uh, let's slightly decline this one. Okay. Um. Where did my promoted pawn... Oh, I exchanged all my promoted pawns off. I could use some more promoted pawns. I'm in such time trouble. Uh... Well, let's exchange some stuff. Why not? Oh, I guess that's why not. Um... Oh, fuck. I can't read the pieces. Is that a problem? Is that a problem? Mm -hmm. That's mean. Why would you do that? Let's hang everything, why don't we? Um. 
Hmm. Is that a problem? That doesn't look good. That doesn't look good. Hmm. I look extremely mated here. Alright, good game. Garbage! <laughs> yeah. Alright, well, we tried. Yeah, no, this uh, challenge is challenging. It's the one Don Pio challenge. Um... So, yeah, uh, being able to read the pieces might help, but um, aside from that, we seem to be doing okay. Yeah, anyway, that was fun. Hope you enjoyed that.